y'all welcome back to my channel i'm chrissy mack if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by so if you already clicked on this video then you read the title this is part two of my beauty series we already did skincare so if you haven't watched that video already pause this one go back to that one then come back to this one i'll wait for you don't worry we're not gonna start without your boo but before we get into part two which is brows everybody's always asked me about my brows i'm like there's a million and two youtube tutorials on how to do brows but people still want to know how i do mine so i figured i'd make a video on it and include it in the series but before i get into all of that make sure you like comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel i i feel some type of way only way i'll forgive you is if you subscribe right now go ahead and do it hit the notification bell it's like i think it's like right here no 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 no, no, right here, I'm sure. I'm almost sure, almost. Either way, just hit it, that way you'll get notifications to your phone and you'll know exactly when I post content and we can get this thing going. So back to the brows, boo. I've had a few friends, more than a few, <laughs> ask me how I do my brows. I don't do my brows any differently than the other millions of YouTubers, but today we are gonna go through the process of the products and the process that I use to a chain, a, t a chain, to a chain, to attain my brow. So if you're interested in knowing my brow routine, stay tuned. Okay, first we're gonna discuss products. We, I'm gonna tell you guys what I use. I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color, what's this? So it's in dark brown. But I lost my Brow Wiz like a week ago and I've yet to find it. So in its place, I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. This is it here, uh, and, and don't mind this. Uh, she's here, but um, you know, hey, hey, what can I say? She popped. She clocked out a little early. I got some glue over. I got some glue right over. Now if I'm gonna glue that on, I'm gonna come right back. Okay, she's back on there. Our crisis averted. We're good now. So, like I was saying, I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz uh, Brow Definer in the shade Ebony, and I use the Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown, I believe. Um, and I know some of y'all like. spending $20 on a pencil don't worry before I was using this I was using the Maybelline the double pack of the red pencils I would include like I would go get mine but y'all know everybody's seen it's at the dollar stores at Walmart it's at CVS is everywhere the Maybelline double red pencils I used to use that in the shade dark brown and that's what I've used since I started doing makeup so if you don't want to spend this Anastasia money and I don't blame you because this is not cheap Auntie Anastasia is charging those coins thank you Cause baby I didn't want to come about the dime for her or her sister but you know I want you know I wanted to try something new spoil myself or whatever so I did get these and I've been using the definer in the place of the brow wig um, next up is concealer I conceal my brows just like everyone else to get the clean look um, when I want to do a little less I'll just clean up under the brow but if I want to do like a full-on Instagram look I'll clean the top and the bottom of the brow and here are an array of concealers that I use typically I will use the LA Pro Conceal in the color Fawn in the winter and Toffee in the summer um, a dupe for Fawn is the Ruby Kisses Pure Mineral Cash Serious, I don't know, concealer, <laughs> the high definition smart blend. This is it here. I got this at a beauty supply store when I was out of town and I left Fawn home and no one had LA Pro Conceal. And I got this and I was so scared. This has a little bit more of a watery consistency. So when you apply it, let it sit for a little bit and then spread it so it'll get a little thicker, like the LA Pro Conceal. And this is in the shade Rich Caramel. And my Tobby dupe is Warm Honey. And for this, it's, it's, it's warm honey. Oh, I have it here in my hand. <laughs> yeah, uh, warm honey. This is my toffee dupe in the in the summer when I'm a little bit darker or whatever. And then when I'm feeling real bougie and I want to use what this, uh, <laughs> I want to use this expensive concealer, I will use the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Caramel. I think I should go down a shade. This works really well um, with my, so I buy all summer shades. I don't typically, for my foundation, I don't typically buy winter shade foundations. I'll just buy a lighter concealer. And by the time it all blends, it kind of works together. But um, I recommend, if you're not looking to look super highlighted, just go a shade down, whatever's underneath this. If you have yellow neutral undertones like me, 
then um, go for the, the caramel or darker. And this is medium slash dark too. So those are what I use to conceal. And then finally brushes. Now it's not always these this combination of brushes, but um, I will use a very dense brush. We'll start off with this one. Well, let me wipe, let me wipe this. This white looks, looks terrible. I ordered these back in 2014, don't judge me. Yes, I like to use this uh, Morphe brush. It's very dense. I like it because it's super thick up here and I, I can use it to blend out the concealer after I apply it. Then uh, this is the, it doesn't even have, uh, it doesn't even have a number, it just says Morphe on it. It's the white brushes. I don't even know if they still make these, but I do have others. I have um, some BH Cosmetics brushes that I use like that. I have um, some Amazon brushes. Just as long as it's really dense and it's not spread dense, but kind of compacted dense in one area, I like to use that to blend out that concealer as you will see when I apply it. And to get the concealer on, I like to use a flat brush like this one. Uh-oh, there we go. This brush is from BH Cosmetics, um, does not have a number on it, but it's just a flat brush, y'all know. Y'all already know. Um, I have a ton of these from every company that I have any brushes from, it costs like all of them. So that's what I use to apply the concealer, like I'll show you guys, and then I pull it down. So enough rambling, let me just go ahead and show you guys what I do so we can get to it. Oh, there's one more product. I also use brow gel, this one's from Sephora. Um, I broke it, don't judge me. I haven't really, I didn't care for the powder much, but the um, the gel I do use. I have one that I use from, um, it's like a uh, NYX. I have a NYX one that I use and I just use the gel out of it. I'm not really a powder person when it comes to brows for whatever reason, it's just, it's just not my thing. I'm gonna be looking down at my mirror here. Um, but just, I guess kind of just follow along, you know, sis. So, how you been, what's been going on? No, but seriously, I'm so glad I can finally get around to doing this because y'all have been asking and I've kind of been avoiding, not avoiding, but I don't really feel like I do anything special. And it's hard to sit down and record. If y'all just knew all of the things that went wrong, I was trying to get this video recorded and it, all the things that always go wrong. If you're a YouTuber, you already know the struggle. It's always, always, always something. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to start off at the, the bottom of the brow and I like to line it to kind of um, anchor the brow to, sh to show me where things are going to start and where they're going to stop. So uh, I also like to use a magnified mirror. I feel like the more precise the view, the more precise the application. So my, I have a five times magnified mirror and I like to get in really close. Can y'all see? And I just like to draw that line starting from where I want my brow to end. And I take that. All the way to where I want my, or begin and end, like so. Um, I don't press down too hard. I really, I'm not a super dark brow person. I know some people love black brows. Whoo, girl, whatever works for you, baby. If you love it, then that's all that matters. But for me, I don't really care for black brows or super dark brows. It just, it doesn't work for me, in my opinion. So I like to start there and, and do that. And then I like to go like two thirds of the way and draw from here and then to where I want the brow to end. So I like to outline the brow first and then fill second. And then I flip back and forth through my mirror. So um, I like to use a magnum magnified side for the application, but then I like to flip to the normal side because people aren't gonna be looking at your brows magnified. If they are, something's wrong. <laughs> Something is wrong. So um, I like to just adjust my view and what I'm doing is flipping my mirror back and forth um, as I do it. Cause sometimes the magnified side kind of hurts my eyes a little bit, but you know, hey, I gotta do what I gotta do. And then I like to go back and look. Okay, so that'll work. And I know something's gonna go wrong now that I'm recording this video. I do my brows all the time, and whenever I sit down to record, something always goes wrong. It's so annoying. But whatevs. Okay, 
So now that I've done that, I like to fill in from the tail and then, actually I should have gone out a little more this way. But it's, we're just gonna make it work. We're gonna be super arched today. Normally I like my brows to go up and then kinda out, but whatever. So I like to fill in from the tail. Actually, that's gonna bother me. <laughs> okay. So you know what? This is good because I can show y'all how I kind of fix my mistakes. I know it looks a mess now, but we're going to clean it up top and bottom. So I like to fill in from the tail, super dark, but then as I work my way forward, and from the tail, I do strokes this way, like so. And then by the time I get to the middle, I do almost like horizontal strokes in the direction that my, my brow hairs go. And I like to use the very tip. I like to use the very tip of the pencil. Cause I think that prevents putting too much product over. And I like to just do hair like strokes to fill it in. But I don't want it to be black, you know, I don't want to, I still want you to see, be able to see hairs but I want patchy spots, if that makes sense. And then by the time we get up to that spot where we started the, the second line on top, I like to angle the hairs a little bit this way in the direction that my hairs go or grow. And it might not seem like it makes a difference, but to me it really does. And then by the time I get right to the front, I like to do vertical hairs. Vertical strokes, I mean. Okay. And that's how I draw the brow into place. Now, once I go and conceal, I'll take another look and see if I need to tweak anything. But I just want to show y'all the true process that I do. I don't want to do nothing extra that I don't normally do. And then y'all try to do it and be like, I followed the steps and it didn't work. I hate when people do that. No shade, sis. No shade. So what I like to do is put some of the concealer on the back of my hand. It warms up the product to help it spread without making it watery. And I like to just, I wet both sides of my flat brush. That way if I need to, um, flip the brush around for more product, I can do that. But I don't like to have a ton of product because I think, you ever see people with the halo brow and it's like that line, the halo bright line right around the brow? I think it's because they pick up too much product and they don't blend it out and they're too scared to go right up to the brow because they don't want to mess it up. But I like to put about that much product on. It's not, it's not um, like super thick if you look at it this way. It's like just, so I like to get right up on the brow and as I do it, I like to turn my head so I can see all the way to the end because even though I can see my whole brow straight on just looking in the mirror, it doesn't really give me the full view. So as I work my way towards the tail, I like to turn my head so that I can see more. And I have to remind myself to do that. It took me a while to figure that out, that that would help and then to remember to actually do it. Another tip, I, you'll see me do short strokes, but it always works out better when I just go ahead and draw it. When I do ch 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 I almost always mess it up. But sometimes, I don't know, it's weird. Sometimes I feel like I have to until I get to that comfortable spot and then I'll let it glide. I've seen some people do it this way and I do it this way. Sometimes when I'm feeling froggy, I will do it the long way. But um, most of the time, I do do it this way. And then I'll go back to my zoomed out kind of side. Okay, so that's not as close as I wanted it, so I'll go back to my magnified side and bring that product up to where I want it to go. There we go. Yeah, maybe just a little bit higher. I 
always tell people set aside time for your brows like you could skim on some on some other parts of your face but I really don't feel like the brows is one of those parts like the brows are kind of like the first thing people see other than your smile I think they see your smile first and then your brow second so set time aside to really take your time and do it right so now that I have the product on there I um, I like to pull it down like this as much as I can until I pulled it down and no more product is spreading okay and it'll make sense as to why in a second take your time with doing this I can't tell you how many times I right up in the brow hairs and had to start over like to raise my brows and lower them as I'm doing them I don't know it I don't know why I don't know sometimes I feel like to get a more defined brow when I raise it I can it straightens out the hair so I can really see where those lines need a little more attention but then I lower them again to make sure it's still good the normal way So now that I have pulled that product down as much as I can, I like to go in with that dense brush that we talked about earlier and blend it out. Some people don't care to blend their concealer out. Again, if it works for you, boo, do you and do you unapologetically. But for me, I like to blend it. So that's what I do. So I'll just go in with the brush and blend it out. Again, take your time so you don't mess it up. I like to raise my brow to get closer to it. I feel like it helps me get a little closer. And then I like to go over that edge to make sure it's not like any buildup there. And if ever I feel like the brush just isn't quite cutting it, I'll go in with my finger and blend if I feel like I need to, but I think the brush kind of did the job today. So we still have that sharp highlighted look without it being like a halo in my opinion. And I just do the same thing on the top. I think on the top I normally do the flat, the flat version, but I don't like, sometimes I'll go all the way up. When I'm doing an Instagram brow, I will start from up here and then go all the way down. I'll do it just so y'all can see. Cause otherwise I would just start here again get that concealer it's dry down a little bit so it's a little a little more difficult to spread but not hard if that makes sense it's not hard to spread out it's not a task but it is more difficult because it's dry down so I like to do a little bit and then work my way closer until I get that sweet spot See how I'm like right up on it here, but it's still a space here. So when I've done it a couple times, I feel like it's not working. I'll go on with the short version. Instead of doing it flat, I'll turn the brush and just kind of do more of a precision. And try not to cake that product up because the more product you put on there, the more you're going to have to blend out. It's kind of hard to see because of these lights. Can't really see the arch of my brow. Actually, I think I want my arch a little higher. I don't see it at all. I don't think it's there. Uh oh. So I'm gonna go back in and draw that like right here. That's the strangest thing. I can't see right there on my brow. I don't know how it's coming across on camera. Oof. All right. This happens all the time when I'm not close enough, but I'd rather be too far than, than 
too close and draw over the brow because right now it's a little too rounded for me a little too thick so once I do that I like to pull that product up to kind of help spread it out so I'm not putting product on like my, like clumps I can't even talk like clumps of product on top of it because I am going to go in again and get a little closer to get, make it sharper and a little thinner so I like to do that and then go back in again and really just get that sweet spot high so let me adjust it some more again take your time okay so I like to pull that product up just like I did under the brow and blend it out I don't really raise my brow on top of the brow there's no reason to it doesn't expose any more skin it doesn't it doesn't help in my opinion all this talking and my concealer is dried down like a lot like it's it's dried so then when I get to like the corners right here so it's not so boxy I like to take it on the angle this way and then that way for the bottom when I like to go up there so I take my brush and I'll go like that and then this brush like this to kind of get rid of that super harsh box and then I will take my spoolie. Um, the Anastasia Brow Wiz and Brow Products happen to come with a spoolie on one end. And I'll like comb through the hairs just to kind of pull them out of the pencil because they do kind of lay down when you do when you use a pencil on them. And I'll even pull this part out a bit. And I'll go back in again with that same brush from before. Just kind of clean that up to give me just help to give like a little more gradient effect and I don't really like for the brow to go beyond this point that's just where I feel comfortable you know whatever you feel comfortable with that's what you do and then once I have it like to where I want it once I'm happy with it and I guess I'm happy with this one it's hard to tell when it's on one I go in with the brow gel I just take my spoolie and I just rub it in there I just turn it and I just go through lightly so as not to disturb the pencil and just go over the hairs especially in the front so I get that super natural not super natural but more natural clean look to make the brow hair stand out so I'm gonna do the other brow real quick and we'll come back and talk a little bit You're wondering what I was doing when I held the, the pencil up. What I like to do is hold the pencil parallel to one brow to see if it's even with the other. Uh, I don't like to hold it parallel with both because you'll just tilt it to accommodate for where the other brow is. So I like to just hold it like in place for one and then I'll look to see if, it, if it's even with the other brow. There's like one loose hair here I'll get that with the gel I never leave those loose hairs because I feel like they they take away from the cleanliness of the brow So that is it for our brows what do you think I think they came out okay if you have any questions or anything for me any tips or anything like that leave them down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to respond thank you so much for watching and until next time dream big love hard make mistakes and have no regrets and I'll catch you in the next video